If you guys are struggling to catch perch or crappie, this system that I'm using today may just help you out. So stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy the video. Not only will this help you catch fish, but it'll also help you find fish. And that's a huge thing, especially with crappie and perch. Uh, they're big schooling fish. And once you find one or two, you typically find a huge school of them. So trolling can be a super effective way to cover a lot of ground and figure out where those fish are at. We are having just one heck of a day out here on a beautiful Southwest Idaho Lake, just slamming fish. I've been out here for like an hour and I've already filled up my cooler and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm doing today. All right, now this is late spring, early summer. Um, I do think that this technique can work year round. However, it's definitely more effective in the spring and summer months. This can work well in deep water too. You're just gonna have to do downriggers or weights or something to bring that, that gear down to the column to where the fish are at. The key thing since this is trolling is you're gonna want to have the right rods. So you're not gonna be using any type of bass bait caster or any thicker rod. You want a rod with a lot of bend to it. Now the rod I have here, this is a kokanee fishing rod. This is a Lamy glass, classic glass. It's got a ton of bend to it as you see because it is a kokanee rod and it happens to work perfectly on these perch. However, if you guys just have a spinning setup, if you've got like just your standard like seven foot crappie rod or something or your ultralight trout setup or whatever, that totally works too. Uh, don't go out and buy a whole new setup for this. These fish aren't that tricky to catch when you, when you find them. Just use the gear you have already. In my opinion, the most important part of all of this is the lure. There's a bunch of different lures that you can, you know, you can use on this. Today we're using Rapala's. This is a Rapala Jointed Shad Wrap 5. So it's going to be a JSR 5. And really in terms of the color, it all depends on what, you know, what bait fish are in your lake. In this lake, it is majority baby perch. We have tons of baby perch and we've got a lot of crawdad. So the crawdad colors on one, I got the baby yellow perch on the other and they're both getting hit the same amount today. There's really no difference. One thing that I do think really helps in this situation is to tip my Rapala with a piece of worm. So in this case, we've got about a centimeter of night crawler and all we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the very back treble hook of this lure. So to show you guys what I'm talking about here, here is the jointed Rapala, and I have that little piece of night crawler tipped on the end. I think it just helps give a little bit of scent uh, and really fire them up. Now, there are crappie in this lake as well that I'm fishing today. However, today we are primarily focusing on perch. Uh, in the last couple of videos, I've been at some other Idaho lakes slamming crappie, doing the same exact thing that I'm doing today. So it works great for both of them. Start at an area that you may have confidence in. If you have never fished the lake before, then start at a dam or you know some type of inlet. You could ask a local tackle shop, a good area to kind of to kick off at. Um, you know, it really the key is just getting out there and covering as much water as possible until you find the fish. I just am gonna put this lure about a hundred feet back. That's it. If they're gonna be a little deeper, if they're gonna be 10 plus feet, you may think about adding like a little one eighth ounce weight uh, above your bead chain swivel just to help send it down a little bit. In terms of speed today, we've been doing really well from about 1.4 to 1.7. Perch and crappie typically, they're really aggressive fish. So they like it, you know, they like a fast presentation, but don't be afraid to slow it down a little bit to one, 1 1.2 and see if they like that as well. Also, don't be afraid to go above that. Sometimes these fish hit at 2.2 miles an hour, 2.3. They're really, really aggressive, so something to think about. If you're using spinning gear or something else that doesn't have a line counter like I have, the easy way to figure out if it's 100 feet back is just use your hand. So go one, two, three, four, and just do that until you get 100 feet back and you know you're there. This guy's being sent out here on the, uh, well, for you guys, it's the right side. I'm putting out the yellow perch. It's the same rig, same everything, except it's a yellow perch colored bait. That's gonna be on the, your guys' left side here. Uh, and then we're gonna pick up speed and we're gonna troll through this little area again, see if we can't pick up some fish. Oh, there we are. There we are. You guys see that? Freaking crushed it. Now, another thing too, when you're fighting these fish, don't just haul them in because they do have pretty soft mouths. Um, you're gonna lose a lot of fish that way. So if you guys notice, I just got the rod, you know, dug into my waist, my side, I got a good bend on the rod and I'm just letting them fight. I'm letting them tire out and play a little bit. Plus it's more fun than just burning them in anyway. Little guy. 
not a not a giant, but not a bad fish either. If you guys notice here, the second I got that fish unhooked, it's right rod is right back out. So as I'm talking to you guys or whatever, I've got that Rapala going right back out because there's more than just one in that spot. And I want to get all possible lines as quick as I can back into that same same area. So that's why I've got this rod as I'm handling the fish here. I've got this rod sending a Rapala right back into that right back into that area. Beautiful little perch, not a giant by any means, especially for this lake, but that still is a, a nice quality eater fish. Putting them in the cooler. All right, I thought I'd give you guys a better shot of the lures and gear that I'm using here today. Now, I've got a couple different types for you. This one right here, this is the Rapala Jointed Shad Wrap, and that's what I'm using here in the video. We also have the Berkley Flicker Shad. This dives seven to nine feet, this one right here. That's another great choice. We have a Rapala Countdown right here. This is a suspending bait. And then we also have the Rapala Jointed right here. This is a traditional jointed, and this is a great one as well. Both these two, the jointed, have really, really good action, but all four of them can be really good on certain times. So, you know, it's just kind of key to have a little bit of everything. I also have a wide variety of colors that I use as well. These two are my favorite right here. This is the crawfish color, and that is the uh, yellow perch color. But depending on where you're at, it may be nice to kind of change it up. This one here is Fire Tiger. That's one of my top colors of all time for any species and then the all gold can also be deadly as well i also showed here a bead chain swivel as you guys can see this basically rolls right and so it helps your line from you know twisting up and and getting all gnarly on you basically your lure is going to go from here you're going to have four or five feet aligned to your bead chain swivel and then from this you're going to go to your rod so it's a very simple rig Oh, there we are. There we are. Good one. It was kind of a new spot. I trolled a little bit, a little bit away from the, the area I was catching my other fish and uh, just found a new little spot apparently. So marked it, marked it on my graph so I know exactly where to come back next time. A little bigger than the other one. Pretty cool, beautiful little fish. He is sperming all over the deck of my boat here, but whatever. <laughs> oh, there we are, there we are. Fish crushed it. Oh man, it's a little, a little slow period in there, but we finally broke it off with a nice fish. Another, another super fun little yellow perch there. Caught him on that Rapala right there, that jointed shad wrap with a little piece of worm tipped on the end. You can get them all day like this. There's much bigger in here as well, but super cool. This technique is proven to catch some of the, not only some of the biggest fish in the lake, but to find fish really, really fast. In today's case, we had to go explore some new water and uh, we finally got into some fish using this strategy. If you guys got something out of this video, I'll put two more up here for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something. See you guys next time on Humbug Videos.